one of those changes came way out east, way out northeast, mm -hmm. Texarkana. You see, Max, it's it's on the border of Texas and Arkansas. I'm not familiar Oklahoma. with this arrangement. Okay, so anyway, I'll, I'll <laughs> explain it to you when you're older. Texas, uh, so Texarkana, Texas High, uh, uh, after Barry Norton jumps the border to go over to Arkansas High. The traitor. I know. But they have a new head coach. It's Jerry Stanford coming in from Flower Mound Marcus in the DFW Metroplex. We had a chance to catch up with Coach Stanford earlier here on DCTF Live. Max, a lot of coaching changes across the Lone Star State. It's been a wild uh, ride on the coaching carousel, and one of the big moves came down recently with the new head coach at Texas High out in beautiful Texarkana. And we are joined now on the phone line by Coach Jerry Stanford. Coach, how are you? Hey, I'm doing well. Doing well. Uh, congratulations on the new gig. I guess first and foremost, uh, uh, when making this decision, I know it's never easy, but uh, what about this job out there at, at Texas High uh, sparked your interest in it? You know, a lot of things. I think it's always been one of the top jobs in the state. I thought, think they offer some unique things that uh, some schools don't offer uh, for a coaching staff and for a family. Um, it's one of those jobs I've always kept my eye on and when the call uh, was made back in the late January if I was interested or not. Um, uh, there was some immediate interest from me and my family on it all. And so uh, you've got a great community that loves football. You've got kids that love football, and they're the biggest show in town. And you've got an administration completely supportive of what all takes place in the athletic realm. Uh, you are moving back out east. You were previously at Flower Mound Marcus in the DFW Metroplex. You kind of uh, cut your teeth in the DFW Metroplex, but you do have experience out there uh, coaching at White Oak for a few years. Uh, now that you've had experience both in East Texas and in DFW, uh, for maybe folks who don't know, can you tell a difference between the style of football that's played uh, in the Metroplex versus out in East Texas? You know, I wouldn't say it's a style of football. I would say... Um... You know, the Metroplex, there's just a lot of avenues for kids to be involved in a lot of different uh, things. There's a lot of things that can grab your attention um, that maybe aren't in East Texas. You know, you don't have the Dallas Cowboys in your backyard. You don't have the Rangers in your backyard or the Mavericks or the Stars. Go down the list of things that are just right there at your immediate hand. And so a lot of times in, you know, smaller towns, you know, in Texarkana, you've got Liberty Olive, great football program, Pleasant Grove, great football program. You go down the list of the other schools in the area that are great football programs, where that's what the communities latch onto. Um, the community in Texas High latches onto their kids in every program. Their golf facility is one of the best golf facilities in the state. Tennis facility, I can't imagine there being a better tennis facility than what's at Texas High. Uh, and you go down the list of these sports that this community really, really latches onto, and it's just a matter of pride in what the city of Texas has in its programs. You've had an opportunity now to uh, to introduce yourself to the community and to, to meet your, your players. Uh, you know, last year Texas High had, a, a, a you know, the, the dreaded 10-1 and one season. Uh, you know, you, you, you go undefeated during the regular season, then you get bounced in the first round of the playoffs. Uh, for you, what was your message, what was your first message uh, to your new players? I mean, it's nothing short of what our expectation is and everything that we base our expectations on is see great effort in the classroom. We want to see great effort in our community and then great effort in our football program. We pride ourselves on a team that's going to play harder than the people that we play. That's where we want to put ourselves as far as the pinnacle of who we are. We're talking with Jerry Stanford, the new head coach of the Texas High Tigers here on DCTF Live. Get involved in the conversation. Hashtag DCTF Live. Coach, obviously on the tip of everybody's tongue, especially with with regards to Texas High, is the new 5A split that the uh, the districts are going to split into divisions starting in 2018. I'm certainly interested in your take since Texas High seems like uh, they're certainly going to be affected by this. Yeah, you know, we're going to be affected maybe probably less than some um, on our schedule currently. Um, and even in historically, Texas High has always traveled. They've been in districts with Sherman and Denison before, and so travel's not unique to Texas High. I think it'll be unique to the teams that are going to be in a district with us um, and probably end up coming out this way to play at Tiger Stadium on a grass field. I think it'll probably be more unique to them than it will be to us. And, uh, Coach, I know you're busy, and I want to let you go, but I do have one more question. You're taking over for a guy who, uh, in Barry Norton, who was there at Texas High and uh, uh just skipping across town, going over to Arkansas High, and I know this is a big rivalry game. Uh, obviously, that's a ways off, but uh, have you thought about what it's going to be like when Texas High takes on Arkansas High and uh, that big rivalry game having all the intensity it already has, now adding in the, the flavor of uh, a familiar face on the other side? 
You know, a little bit. Um, uh, we've thought about Arkansas and Ohio a lot. I think they're on our kids' minds constantly every day. Uh, with Coach Norton being there and the, the things he was able to get done here, that stuff doesn't affect me. As a, you, When you change jobs as a head coach, you're usually put into a unique situation, and that's been the case with the three moves that I've made. Um, they've been very unique, and uh, the head coach being on the other side has happened a couple times, and so not too unique to me into what I'm going to experience. Uh, you want the kids to just be able to go out and play football. He is Jerry Stanford. He's the new head coach of the Texas High Tigers. Coach, appreciate your time. Know you're a busy man, but congratulations on the new gig, and uh, we'll be talking to you down the road. Thanks, Coach. There it is, Coach Jerry Stanford. And again, thanks to Coach for hopping on with us. I know he's a busy man. That's interesting that, that I guess, look, and and I don't want to, I am not naive enough to believe that coaches are always telling us precisely and 100 percent how they feel about every topic we'll take them at their word we will take them at we'll their think, word we'll think some things for sure but we'll take them at their word we'll take them at their word i expected i uh, when i asked him about the 5a split i expected coach stanford to be like yeah it stinks it really stinks like we don't like it at all but he seemed cool as a cucumber and look i'm not expecting him to come on and be like oh my gosh we're screwed you know right. what i mean right but that is interesting that he's like, look, it's it's not a big deal. We've played, you know, this program's played against D- Denison and Sherman, and, you know, travel does go both ways. He has, seems to have a very, you know, um, cool demeanor about it. Um, he's exactly right, though, about the um, about going out there is that in Texarkana, you're the you're the biggest game in town, baby. Like you're the you're the team. Like there's no you know yeah they follow the Cowboys and yeah they follow the 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 Rangers and right. maybe they follow the Astros, but like you're the big game in town. You're the team locally, and so there is a difference between that between being in DFW Metroplex or maybe in a big metropolitan area and being yeah. out there in East Texas. No question. So, our thanks to Jerry Stanford for hopping on with us. 